If you use Ecamm Live and have never tried using preview mode, then uh, stick around because that's what I'll be talking about in this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and I was tripping over my tongue a little bit there in that intro. Uh, but yes, in this video we are talking about preview mode in Ecamm Live. And what is that exactly? Well, it is a feature that is built into Ecamm that allows you to uh, make changes to your scenes uh, on the fly during your presentations or during your uh, live streams rather. Uh, and then you can publish those changes. So it means you can sort of change things behind the scenes, but while you are live and then publish those changes once you have uh, made them. But it's probably easier if I just just demonstrate it. So if I come into my uh, screen sharing mode so that you can see my or my demo mode rather in Ecamm Live, uh, we've got my obviously this is my main Ecamm window. I've got my scenes here and some overlays there. Uh, and then if you come into the Ecamm Live menu up in the top corner, uh, then in here you'll see that there is preview mode. Uh, and then if you've made some changes then there is also publish but we don't want to go into menus do we really we much prefer to use either uh, keyboard shortcuts or our stream deck but here you can see that the keyboard shortcut for uh, preview mode is command enter command return and then also once you've made some changes uh, it is uh, return or enter to publish those changes so let me just come out of that menu and i'm going to activate this uh uh, preview mode by pressing command enter and there you go now we have uh, another window has just popped up and this is basically the ecamm live uh, program window so this is what is actually going out on your stream or what is being recorded and if i hover over my main window now we you can see that we've got this label that's popped up in the top uh, corner here in the top called identifying it as preview mode so whatever is going on in this window is currently in preview mode and is not actually live uh, and then we've got these two buttons down here which is either return to live mode uh, or uh, publish now i should just point out that if we were to go back to live mode for a moment so i'm going to go back to live mode you can see that uh, we still got these two windows because this is just the Ecamm Live program window and you can actually turn that one on and off independently anyway. So although we have got two windows, note that this now says recording. This is not uh, the uh, preview mode anymore. So uh, do bear that in mind that just because you've got two windows on screen does not necessarily mean that this one is by default in preview mode. So that's just something to be aware of if you're going in and out of preview mode. But anyway, let's go back into preview mode and I'll actually show you what it's used for. And we're just gonna do something simple. So as you can see, I've now got preview mode identified up here. That means that this is not the live uh, view or the live output. And all I'm gonna do is just add in a different border. So I created another border for one of the other videos I made. So I'm gonna just add that one in now. Uh, so there you can see clearly there is a difference. We've got a different border around this one than we have in the live view. Obviously, you've got all of the functions available in Ecamm Live at your disposable, uh, disposal. So you could add in other cameras, you could add in other views, you could add in other uh, overlays and things like that. You can make any changes into this preview window that you would like to make uh, that you could possibly make in Ecamm Live. But now all we need to do, do is when we are ready is to publish uh, those changes by clicking on the publish button or just pressing the return button. So as soon as I click this button, it will go live to the main window. So there you go, I've clicked on it. And now this is also going out into the live output. Uh, so if you're on a stream, these changes would have been made. Now note that we've published them, uh, but we're still actually in preview mode. So we can still go and make some other changes to this. Uh, let's say I wanted to add in uh, another camera view, for example, uh, I don't actually have anything queued up on another camera, but let's just say uh, maybe guest one. Let's say I was going to add a guest into this, uh, this particular scene uh, and maybe I might want to make that a circle, something like that. Uh, you get the point. You can do anything that you can do in Ecamm Live. We could add them in so I could add in a guest over on this side. Uh, and then when I'm ready, I can click uh, publish. So that is again another demonstration of it. Now let's just say that I did make a few changes to this. Uh, maybe I might even add another guest in. <laughs> and let's call this one, uh, add in guest number two. So now I've got two guests that are uh, in, the, uh, in the stream with me. Uh, but 
let's say I go back to live mode and uh, I haven't clicked the publish button, it will pop up this message asking, uh, you have un unpublished changes. Do you want to publish these changes before returning to live mode? So in that case, click publish. Or do you want to revert to how the scene was at the last time you published? Or do you want to cancel out of this so that you just return basically to the, uh, the preview mode? Uh, you can obviously select here, remember this choice so that it will always default to that behavior in the future. I'd probably recommend you don't actually have that one to uh, ticked because uh, to my mind, you know, if you are doing things live, uh, it's always good to have this extra little uh, prompt to make sure that you don't inadvertently publish something you didn't mean to if you're trying to get out of uh, preview mode. Or alternatively, if you uh, uh, don't publish something that you uh, you actually wanted to. So uh, I will leave that as it is for the moment. But let's just say that was an error and I'm going to click revert changes. So this is, uh, bear in mind, this is when I've clicked back to live mode. So I click revert changes and then it's basically going to put that to how it was. But note also that this is now I am no longer in preview mode. So this is what I was saying before. Don't make the mistake of thinking that uh, I've, you know, come out of uh, preview mode, but there's still these two windows that this is still preview. It is actually now the main uh, recording window. If you want to make any changes, then just click on this preview mode. Uh, and let's just say, uh, I don't need this guest in anymore. And let's say I'm going to put the uh, uh, border back the way it was as well. So let me just take this border off and there we go. We're back to normal. And let me just say publish that. And then also because I've not made any changes, it's now been published. And if I go back to live mode now, it will just simply drop out of live mode, because uh, out of preview mode rather, uh, because there was no extra changes to publish there. So now I could close down this window if I want. And then if I come back to my main screen, then I'll rather <laughs> take off my screen sharing. That is basically a rundown of how to use preview mode. So a little bit short and sweet that one. Uh, I've got a few other Ecamm specific videos that I'm going to be making over the next uh, few days as well. Uh, so uh, do watch out for those. And if you found this useful, uh, then do let me know down below in the comments and also uh, give the uh, video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. If you are a uh, a preview mode user and you use it on your live streams then let me know how you found using it and if you've uh, got any tricks or tips that you want to share with anybody so there we go as i say there are plenty more ecamm live videos coming up and i'll leave a link to though uh, the playlist in the bottom right so for now have a great day